Uh, we just wanted to know, Matthias, what's the business case for outsourcing partnerships and how will it benefit the stakeholders involved? Well, our business case in Microsoft, obviously, particularly in this region here in Asia Pacific, is, is growth and scalability, right? So the only way uh, to grow profitably for Microsoft is obviously involving outsourcing organizations and outsourced partners, right, to drive that growth and scalability. Uh, we are just not in a position to add headcount in-house constantly to drive that growth, basically, uh, number one. Number two is, in many, many areas, you know, our outsourced partners, for example, our shared services partners, have certain competencies we simply do not have in the company. You know, when you think about, for example, logistics, when you think about, you know, order management, when you think about analytics even, right, there's a lot of really, really strong competencies out there, right, which we don't need to develop ourselves. You know, it is much, much more beneficial for us as well as obviously for the partner to uh, engage with them on an outsourced uh, relationship. Right. Talking about analytics, can you talk about the importance of analytics in the context of shared services and outsourcing? Yeah, what I basically just mentioned, right, when we started our, our analytics journey, right, which was basically back then a pure reporting journey, right, so obviously every organization needs to create uh, a specific set of, of report to drive their business decisions. Um, we felt, again, that, you know, building up that muscle and that competencies completely in-house would probably not, you know, last us very long, simply because of, you know, required investments and required, required skill sets. And when we went out to the market and looked for potential partners, partnerships, uh, we found actually some very, very solid uh, knowledge and some very solid skill sets out there, you know, which we could engage uh, uh, longer term. Uh, and uh, obviously the benefit for us is that, you know, we're having an incredible access of, uh, of, of market insights and, and industry knowledge out there, right? We don't have to basically uh, develop that by ourselves. Uh, and obviously that model is much, much more cost effective for us than building that muscle by ourselves. Right? I understand. Now, there many say that analytics is tightly integrated with information, enterprise information management. Uh, do you think SSOs needs uh, EIM, enterprise information management? And what are the benefits of having such a system? Obviously, obviously. So, you know, you cannot build up a uh, uh, business analytics muscle without having, you know, a proper system in place, right? Uh, and um, the, the requirements for those systems uh, are obviously manifold, right? First of all, you need to consider uh, when you're building up those kind of structures uh, as an as a SSON partner um, that you have a variety of, par of, of, of consumers and customers for that, for that service, right? So, uh, you know, people want to use uh, mobile phones, they want to use tablets, they want to use all kinds of devices to access those data. So the system has to have the flexibility and the scale uh, to provide that. Then, of course, the simplicity of the data, right? You have to have a system in place um, for your clients, which is easy to use and easy to understand. There's no point to develop something which is highly complex, which maybe answers the question, but only for a few specialists. So the normal kind of user, the business users, is not able to use that tool properly. So absolutely, you know, the requirement for all our outsourced uh, partners is that they have a proper information system management in place to be able uh, to provide us that, that insight and that data we require. Can you tell us what important lessons can other organizations learn from Microsoft in the area of analytics? Can you share some success stories? Well, I, I think I would like to start with being a little bit self-critical, right? I think, you know, even Microsoft, you know, known obviously to be an industry leader in, in many respects, right? I think we have started that journey a little bit late, right? I think we, we as an organization overall, did not really understand uh, for the longest time um, the difference between reporting and analytics, right? Reporting is really backward looking, you know, I know what happened and I tell you what happened, but how do I use that information to be forward looking, to predict basically the future as best as I possibly can. So uh, I would, as a recommendation to other companies, I would say, you know, start this journey as early as you possibly can because business analytics is a, is a key competitive advantage. If you are able to predict the future based on data, um, is an incredible competitive advantage against, uh, against other companies. The other recommendation or the other shared learning I would like to give here is, you know, you have to understand as a company that business analytics is a core driver of success going forward, right, for any company who are dealing with customers, and most companies obviously do, right. So make sure that you put a structure in place, an organization structure in place that, that reflects the importance of that group. So basically, don't do, don't do, um, business analytics as a, as a, uh, you know, as a, as a moonlighter, do it full-time, do it properly, and give it the structure and importance that it deserves. Okay. 
is definitely not an on-the-site kind of thing. It's no. part of a major mm -hmm. strategy. But many companies still do that, actually. You would be surprised. You know, right. For them, is, is analytics is something, yeah, I have to do, but I don't really know what that means, and you know, I don't really want to spend a lot of money on it. Right? Exactly. It is the key differentiator, depending on the business you are in, particularly in the consumer business. If you understand what your consumers really drive business decisions on, this is an incredible competitive advantage. Right? Very well said. Thank you so much, Matthias. Uh, we appreciate your insights, and have a nice day. Welcome. Thank you so much.